Hello, this tutorial is used to discuss about a Java program that reads the content of a document file and store it into another document using buffered input stream and buffered output stream. The data read in the form of byte array from a file and store into another file. We use a try catch block to write the program logic. A string variable named from is used to indicate the name of the document file from which the data need to be copied. Here the named file am2.docx which is a file from which we are reading the content. So in the specific folder there will be a file which is named as am2.docx. Another string variable 2 is used to indicate the name of the file wherein which the document file content need to be stored. Here the name of the file in which the content need to be pasted is named as out.docx. A buffered input stream object which is named as IN is created to read the data from the file. Within the constructor of buffered input stream, a dynamic object of file input stream is used which mentions the name of the file from which the data need to be read. Similarly, a buffered output stream object which is named as out is created to store the data into the file. Within the constructor of buffered output stream, a dynamic object of File output stream is used which will mention the name of the file in which the data need to be pasted. So here from indicates the name of the file which is the source file and the variable to indicates the destination file wherein which the content will get 
copied. A byte array named BUFF is created with specifying the size as by specifying the size as 1024, which is the total size of the data which we will read from the file at a time. It could be of varying size. An integer variable len is declared. A while loop is used to read the data from the file repeatedly. By using the buffered input stream object which is in, the read method is called. Within the read method, a byte array variable which is buff is used wherein which the data will be read from the file and, get, and it gets stored into the variable of byte array buff. Each time the data get read from the file, we compare whether the size is more than zero. That indicates some data has been read from the file. So it need to be stored into the destination file. The data will be written into the destination file by using a buffered output stream object which is out and its method write method. Within the write method three parameters are mentioned. The first one indicates the data which is read from the file and the second and third parameter indicates the starting position of the buffer variable from which the data need to be co copied and pasted and the third variable len indicates up to how much data from the buff need to be written into the file. Both input stream and output stream object has to be closed. Execute and see the program output. A new file which is named as out.docx will be created into the specific folder. The out.docx file has the same content as like the source file which is am2.docx. Thank you for watching this video.